Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to select the right drive. I will outline both the needs for an AC and a DC drive. The first step is to determine the application. A pump application could benefit from a different type of drive rather than one intended for a conveyor. Next, I will look at the input voltage. I would prefer to size my drive up to the line coming in, and although there are always ways to manipulate this with transformers, it would be more cost effective to appropriately size the drive. Next is my motor's nameplate data. I would need a drive that can handle the motor I have. Even the manufacturer and model number of the motor can be important in this process. Ideally, for an AC drive, I would need the horsepower, speed, voltage, amperage, frequency, insulation class, and service factor. For DC drives, I would need the horsepower, RPM, armature volts, armature amps, field volts, field amps, and ohms. If replacing an existing drive, having the model number and the brand can ensure a more accurate cross to a current equivalent. Even if the drive series had an update, there could be a chance that the new drive in the line has different features and differs in size or performance. There may be a different brand that is closer to your older drive or one that might be more efficient with the application. Size requirements are also necessary as you would need to adhere to any size restrictions. The height, width, and depth needs to be specific and is often overlooked in the ordering process. For AC drives, you might need to look at factors such as environment and distance between motor and the drive. The environmental factors can be important if the drive is not in an enclosure. Drives can have anema rated housing to withstand many environments, but in proper planning, can allow moisture to build up in the drive and lead to catastrophic failure. The distance between the motor and the drive can also be a safety issue and may require the drive to have a DVDT filter if necessary or something else that may introduce more impedance on the line to the motor. If the motor has a feedback device or requires a closed loop application, this may also change the type of drive needed. Many drives are capable of closed loop applications, but not all drives can accept every feedback device. These devices also have nameplate data that will specify the needs of the encoder, tachometer, or resolver and may exceed the rating of the drive. Also not standard on all drives is the need for line region or dynamic braking. This may also play a part in selecting a drive. The I.O. of each drive is another factor to take into consideration. The requirements needed for relay outputs, digital I.O., as well as the analog I.O. can influence the decision on which drive to purchase. My last factor would be method of drive control. How the drive will operate the application and how the user interfaces with it will determine the ease of use the need for wiring, communication protocols, and additional accessories. For further assistance in a drive purchase, please contact Galco directly at the number below. Drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.